Chat GPT is gonna write headlines for me and it's gonna write an ad within seconds. Check this out. I'm gonna write, write 10 compelling headlines for going to a chiropractor. I'm gonna get enter and it's gonna start spewing out 10 headlines that I can literally leverage and use or just adjust slightly to put into an ad, to put into a website and so forth and so on. But I'm not gonna stop there. I wanted to write the actual ad for me. So I'm gonna write in, write a Google ad for going to the chiropractor and I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. How awesome is that? It is immediately writing a quick little ad that I can again go back in and leverage and do whatever I need to do, but check out how cool this is. And I can go back and rate how great it's been and so forth and so on. And if you watch today's video, we're gonna show you how to set up your own account for chat GPT. We're also gonna show you how you can leverage it in different ways to do your marketing. And more importantly, we'll show you how to get access to the paid version. First thing I'm gonna do is just go to a random Google search. You're gonna type in chat GPT, hit enter. And then once you're here, you're gonna go ahead and select it. Once you're here, just go ahead and sign up and the sign up is a pretty basic process. I would recommend using a Google account. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit Google and it's gonna ask me for my sign in for Google. Um, here we go, I'm just gonna quickly log in. And then as you can see, it goes in there and I, I might ask you for a phone number verification, just throw in your phone number. Once you're in here, this is the preview, this is the free version, this is basically the research version that they're using to compile a whole bunch of information. Now, Chat GPT, uh, an AI that is going to be basic, very conversational. Uh, that's, in my opinion, probably even going to replace Google at some point, just because of the way it brings back information and the way you could ask it questions and how practical some of the examples are, are coming back, right? So it's not searching for content that's already uh, established out there. It's actually generating content based on uh, its learning abilities that it's had. Now, the cool thing of it is it gives you some really cool examples. We've been toying this for a little bit, so we're gonna give you a little bit of different ways to do it. For marketing reasons, let's make believe you're stuck and you're just trying to come up with a headline for your brand or for a particular service you're offering. Now, I gave you the chiropractic example, but you literally can use any example out there. For instance, um, 10, or let's do five, just to make it simple, five compelling reasons to get a car washed. It's just in case you're a person that's running a car wash or you're running ads to a car wash. Great little headlines that it's coming out. Now, when it comes to pulling information or facts, it can also do the same exact thing, but you gotta be very careful because it's generating conversation. The facts are probably not gonna be accurate, so you, you're gonna go back in and check on facts and so forth. But look at this, it immediately came up with that. Uh, but what if you wanted to go a little bit more? Um, give me a short history on car washes. Now I picked the most interesting subject matter ever. Uh, now, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and create all of these, um, but we don't know whether or not the information is accurate. But the point of the matter is, you can go back in and just replace the inaccurate information with some accurate information, and then you can create something along lines of just general content creation. So, I mean, for me who struggles with writing, this is like uh, amazing because it's just like, even when I get a little bit stuck or if I don't know how to say something or if I just want to say something that's in my head but I don't know how to pull it out, this is a great example. And I can keep going on this, right? So I asked for compelling headlines. I asked for some history on car washes. Now let's write an ad, right? Write an ad to get your car washed. <laughs> Are you tired of driving around with a dirty car? Bring your car to our state-of-the-art car wash and let us take the shine. Our team is skilled professionals with carefully hand washed. I mean, honestly, this is absolutely amazing. And if I wanted to even be funny, I can even write a poem about it, right? So I can come over here, write a poem about a car wash. Let's see what happens. And there you go, it is writing a poem about a car wash. I honestly think this is absolutely hilarious. If you really read it, it's pretty awesome. Uh, but just think about it, you're marketing for a car wash, you're trying to come up with different ideas, and here you go. So far, you've wrote your compelling headlines, you then wrote a quick little history about a car wash, you then wrote um, you know, an ad for your car wash, and then you wrote a poem, a poem for your car wash. But now let's stop there. Let's write a little song about a car wash. 
write a song about a car wash. How awesome is down? Driving down the road, feeling low, my car is dirty, and I need a show. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it comes up with a chorus, a verse. It does not get any better than this. Now, the cool thing about it is uh, it's not only limited to this. I can tell you that from a futuristic standpoint, um, writing your own content and or just content for customers uh, is going to be uh, really diving into this. This is going to this is going to eventually take over. Now, mind you, this is still in the beta stages. This is still in the development stages. And as you can see, it is pretty smart. Uh, and the fact that I can just kind of go in through here uh, and just create different things and generate different ideas is pretty amazing. You can come in here and you can also translate. I'm going to see if it takes the this right here or the ad. Let's see if it translates it. Might have been a little bit too much. Oh my lord, it figured it out. Um, okay, as you can see, translate this in Spanish. I put a little a, a little uh, colon and then automatically it's translating into Spanish. Ladies and gentlemen, this is super scary. This is also pretty darn amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, how impressive is that? It literally translated that article. Now, I don't know how accurate it is because again, we are questioning the accuracy of this because it does even state it. It says that right when you start using the program, it does state, hey, that a lot of the information here might not be accurate. Please do not follow and so forth and so on. Um, it, it, so it is still learning, but the goal of it and why you would use it for marketing is just to generate your ideas. If you're blocked in any way, you can go ahead and do this. And creating the account, I gotta be honest, is incredibly simple. They have updates. If you want to reset the thread, it actually even gives you different things that you can do. I heard this thing translates code and it does a whole bunch of other different things that you're going to want and to use and at least play with. But when it comes to generating content, fixing content, giving you ideas for content and going in and doing slight modifications, this is a big win. And again, you can come in here. They have a Discord server there uh, that that's already active. I'm already in it. And then it has updates and FAQs and it has commonly asked questions in here. When can you view? Can you delete my data? All this other stuff that's in here. But I got to be honest, they're doing an incredibly good job. Now you're like, well, how can we take this even further? You can get a paid version and actually we're trying it out and it has an API, which a lot of people have taken advantage of it already. They're already connecting certain programs to this to generate content and so forth and so on. So the possibilities of this is pretty uh, endless here. So to get to the paid version of this, I had to um, do a little work around. I had to figure out who was the company that, you know, created and so forth. But then you go in and you're going to go into, uh, if you do openai.com, which is uh, the actual company that created this. So openai.com. It brings you directly to this page, which gives you another way to try out the research release, which is the beta version that we had. As you can see, it already has API, research, bloggings. This, this is gonna really take off. If you wanna know how um, you can get access to the paid version, again, which we're already trying, we're going over to pricing. Inside of pricing, you can go ahead and sign up. Uh, and this brings you to the paid version of it. Um, so then I'm gonna go in with my Google account, which we already have. And you'll notice it's the paid version because you're gonna have a lot more options in here. And they're already doing image generation where you can build an application and so forth. It has an incredible tutorial, it has examples. Look at all the examples and the things it can do. It can create questions and answers. It can translate uh, to programming languages. It can do things uh, in, in emojis inside of titles. It does keywords, it does all kinds of wonderful things in here. Um, spreadsheet creator, where you can create a spreadsheet. Uh, and again, it's it's kind of endless and uh, how much you wanna play with it. But uh, if I was you um, and I was out there and this is something where, again, a lot of it is moving into, a lot of the marketing world is moving into, really simple way to do that, incredible documentation. Um, has they're going in there with quick start tutorials, how it works. So if we are gonna get the price version, I would just go in and check uh, the different prices and the base models, right? So uh, multiple modules, each with different capabilities and price points, add as the fastest model while DaVinci is the most powerful. Uh, we've been playing around with DaVinci, but it's two cent per 1K tokens. Uh, again, the, the way the tokens work, it, tell, it tells you right here, prices are per thousand tokens. You can think of tokens as the pieces of words, where a thousand tokens is about 750 words. A paragraph is 35 tokens. Just to give you an idea of how this works and what exactly you're paying for. So it just be really smart. But again, you have the, the free version that you can just go here, which is the, re, uh, the research release version, where you can try out and try the different examples. 
but how awesome and cool is this? AI is here, folks. It's been here for a while. Uh, I just thought that this is the best version to really go out there. But uh, one, we showed you how to open an account. Two, we showed you how to get the pricing aspect of it. We showed you a couple marketing examples that you can leverage. But go in here and play at your own. Uh, give it some of the examples here. It makes analogies. It makes notes to summaries. Uh, it does quite a bit. Uh, and I got to be honest, uh, it is by fun. We've been having a lot of fun with it. And the fact that it has a uh, API potential is amazing. Uh, we're also going to be jumping into the image generation version which is coming along where it literally can basically prompt up uh, a picture and you can get a picture that is specific to what your needs and requests are so it's again doing some of this we're diving into this one now we're, we're still working through it so this is dal e this is basically an image generator so let's see if we can make it work also so if i come over here and i type in sun with a smile let's see what it comes up and it's going to go ahead and it's going to grab some Im images for me now Again, a uh, lot of really cool things. Uh, how about that? Uh, you can also do that. You can also upload an image and it can do some crazy things with it. Um, very, very cool. Uh, it is definitely on its way, but I wanted to show you that uh, this is something that uh, is just going to really take over and you can have a lot of fun with. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.